Hi everybody and welcome to weeks 9 and 10 of my OSCP update. Now, as you may have noticed, I've dropped these updates down to once a fortnight. Um, that is kind of just due to time commitments and wanting to invest that time in the labs. Uh, but it's also, I don't want to flood uh, you with useless information and keep you away from doing all those labs. I just want to try and share some personal things that come up for me as I'm doing these labs and there's not that much. Uh, that being said, we do have a fair bit to go over today. So to kick it off with some statistics, I'm now 61 machines down out of a total of 66. Uh, I just have uh, sufferance to do and then uh, I'll, and then Maria, Alpha, Beta, Gamma will be reserved to a bit of a practice exam where I'll basically replicate the conditions of the exam. I might even put the webcam on 24 hours and see just how many machines I can do as it's rumored that Alpha, Beta, Gamma are ex, uh, exam machines and Maria is a buffer overflow. So it just gives me, you know, a decent, um, exam prep scenario so I can get used to the conditions and not be so caught off guard when I finally sit down to do it. Uh, a quick note on the lab machines though, um, I found just through uh, doing these machines and the amount that I have left that there are not 70 plus machines as advertised in the new OSCP course. Uh, I think they advertise plus 33% uh, more lab machines. Uh, this is actually 66 machines, it was 67, but one got retired. Uh, so it's a little bit misleading there. Uh, you do have uh, these sandbox machines, which I'm not sure if they were there on the old course, um, but they're practically pretty useless anyway. I don't think anybody really uses them for anything. Now today I wanna go over something that's not really talked about much uh, anywhere that I've seen. And that's the idea of burnout and the toll that this course can have on your mental health. Now, I feel like I've been coping okay, but there have been times where I've woken up in the morning and just dreaded having to sit down and keep going with these labs. Three months is a long time to make such a big sacrifice of all your personal free time. And it, it can get hard, it can burn you out. I'm in a very lucky position where I work in consulting and due to the end of financial year, which is June, July in Australia, um, and the, a little bit of an impact from uh, the whole pandemic, uh, I've been a little bit more quiet at work, which has afforded me a lot of time to do uh, labs during work hours. But that doesn't diminish the amount of time that I've sacrificed to do it uh, in my own time as well. So much so that I have rarely seen any friends for the past uh, three months and I keep getting messages saying, hey, where are you? Um, my dad calls a lot just to see how, if I'm still alive. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's quite hard, just the amount of personal sacrifice you, you have to make. Um, I've been dreaming about playing Overwatch again. Uh, hopefully one day I'll get back to that. Um, but it dawned upon me that this was starting to get a little bit out of control. Um, so I, it, it was just a simple matter of just taking an entire weekend off, uh, spending it with a friend. I went while watching, we had dinner um, and just having, having a bit of social interaction just paid back so much that I needed from areas of my life that weren't being fulfilled uh, just due to being in front of a computer almost 24 seven for the past two and a bit months. So while it's expected that you'll work really hard throughout this course, you can't diminish your own needs. You can't ignore your mental health as the way I see it is, I, if you burn out, then you're just going to not retain any information. You're going to hate doing the labs and what? And what? Fucking bird just hit the word. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad. <laughs> that was brilliant that it was caught on camera. <laughs> oh, I needed that. <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> the whole idea of um, 
of burning out before you finish your course, you're not going to retain anything. And by the time you do your exam, you're not going to be motivated. So sometimes it takes a step backwards to be able to uh, be able to keep moving forwards. Now, coming back to the labs after taking two days off was really, really hard. Uh, but the biggest thing you need to remember is you just need to start. And once you start, then you just get sucked in again. Um, and that's pretty much how it's been every morning. Sometimes you wake up feeling that you're not good enough and that you are uh, that you suck at this and everything like that. But as soon as you start going, as soon as you just start putting in a little bit of effort, you get sucked in, you get in the zone, you get in that flow state and you realize that that's just yourself telling yourself utter nonsense. So with that being said, with three and a bit weeks left of my uh, lab pass, I'm going to be very excited when this is over. I'm definitely going to take a little bit of time for myself before I start cramming for the exam, as I just want to be motivated, but not burn out. Um, so I'll be seeing friends, I'll take a few days off and then look at preparing uh, with the TJ Null's um, hack the box list, as well as there's a couple of Linux and Windows privilege escalation courses out there on Udemy, which I might check out. So watch this space and I'll let you know if I find any value from them. I also wanted to give a quick mention to the InfoSec Prep Discord channel. Absolutely amazing community there. Um, I've found that this Discord channel is much better than uh, going to the forums because forums can reveal too much information. Sometimes all you need is this tiny nudge to get over the line or to uh, make things flowing again and the forums can reveal a little bit too much. So this Discord channel is really great as you just ask for a bit of assistance. Um, the people there are pretty good. You can specify how vague or direct you want them to be. But what I found more helpful from this Discord channel is actually helping others. It's been a great exercise for me to go over my notes that I've written and try to explain the concepts of how I exploited this machine or try to drop those little hints to other people looking for help because if nothing else, it just revises your own knowledge and it keeps you um, it's like doing revision without actually having to do revision. So it's helping others while revising yourself. So I highly, highly recommend checking out that Discord channel. Just don't uh, rely too much on other people and be sure to pay it forwards. So that's pretty much it from me for today. As always, I hope you're getting value from these videos. I hope it's not a waste of time. And I hope that you are also looking forward to smashing some machines in the OSCP labs. As always, leave any comments or questions below. I'll leave the Discord channel below as well. And reach out to me if you have any questions. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.